Hey, what's up everyone? And in today's video, I wanted to show you guys how you can hack Subway surfers on your device. So I want to show you guys the cool app that I have to do that, how it works, and also how you can download and install it yourself in your own device, whether you have iOS or Android, you can have this for yourself. Okay, so I'm going to be flipping my screen over, using my phone, showing you guys step by step how you can actually acquire this yourself. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay everyone, so before I show you guys where you can get this cool app, where you have this mod, or how you can install it, I want to show you what the app looks like and how it works so you can see it's super simple to use and yeah, so basically that's the app right there. It's called the Subway Surfers Plus Plus, Subway Surfers Plus Plus app and as you can see when I open it up I have my game here I have all these features and basically once I click on the mod menu um, in my case I have the unlock all characters so as you can see I have all these cool characters that I can use but we have all these other features like unlock unlimited keys and unlimited coins that you can also activate for yourself if that's what you want so yeah that's basically how it works so it's this app right here so if you want to download it, first of all, if you are an iOS user, first we need to make some adjustments to our settings. So if you are using Android, you don't have to worry about this step. But for Android users, we're going to, I mean, for iOS users, we are going to go ahead and click our settings. And the first thing that we want to do is that we want to head to battery. And in battery, we just want to make sure that we have low power mode turned off and that we have at least 10% battery on our device so that we don't have any issues when we are downloading our app so it doesn't shut down or something like that, all right? So just make sure that you have this off and that you have that. All right, so once we've done that, we can head back to our settings menu and we're gonna go ahead and click general and we're gonna click on background app refresh. So click there once again and here you just wanna make sure that you select either Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi and cellular data. All right, in order to load the web page and download the app, all right, either one of these two is fine, just make sure that you don't have it in off. All right, so we can head back to our general settings and then we're gonna go ahead and click on our about. And here we just wanna confirm that our iOS version is at least iOS 11 or above. So if you aren't at least iOS 11, just make sure that you update your iOS before you try to download this app since it will probably not work for you correctly, okay? So I'm 16.1.1, so I'm good to go there. All right, so we can head back to our settings menu now. And here what we wanna do is that we wanna head down to Safari. So click Safari and once you're there, you're gonna head all the way down to Advanced, click there. And here we just wanna confirm that we have JavaScript enabled. So if you don't, go ahead and click here, the little slider till it's green and make sure that you turn it on. Super important to be able to load the web page properly and the app without any issues, all right? So once we've done that, that's basically it for our settings adjustments for iOS users. Now for both Android and iOS, we can go ahead and open up our web browser, whichever you are using is totally fine. And we're just gonna type in the name of the web page where we can find this cool app. So it's called vivahelper.com, just like that. So just type that up there and click go or okay. And immediately our web page loads. So this is the main menu here. And up here we have a search bar where we can search for the app that we are looking for. So basically that's what we're gonna do. So we're just gonna type in the name of our app and immediately it shows up right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on it and you're gonna get this little pop-up here and you're gonna see that it says download now. So go ahead and click there and then it's gonna start downloading here. So we're just gonna give it a moment for it to finish downloading. It's fairly quick so it doesn't take very long. All right, we're almost there. All right, so once that downloads there, you're gonna get this pop-up here. Just wait for that pop-up, click allow, and then you're gonna see profile downloaded. Keep that in mind and click close, and then we can exit out. And now we're gonna head to our settings and we're basically gonna look for that 
profile, downloaded notification in our settings. So as you can see, I have it right here. So go ahead and click there and your app is gonna pop up just like that. So basically what we're gonna do is that we're gonna finish installing it to our device so that it's up and running with the rest of our apps. So go ahead and type up your passcode if you have one. And now we're gonna click next, install and install once again and then click done. So once we exit out of our settings, you're gonna see that your app immediately shows up right here with the rest of your apps. So yeah guys, that's basically it. That is how you can get the Subway Surfers hack on your own device. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.